Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Today I want to talk with you about sketching for personal growth. Even if you have no talent, drawing is a vehicle for psychological expression. Few things are more therapeutic than a creative outlet. Alas, I have zero talent as an artist, and truly I can draw no bigger than stick figures. But I decided today to see if I could derive some benefit from creating art without having any talent. First, I thought about the image I'd want to create. I wanted something simple, both because of my lack of talent, but also because I believe that art is most impactful when it's very focused. That's why when you watch a movie, you'll often see really close-up shots being the most powerful. I also wanted to make it emotional, whatever art I created, because I wanted to move both the creator, me, as well as any viewer, who is going to be you. I decided that the image was going to be of an eye shedding a tear of blood, and it would be called Tried and Failed. It describes a number of my clients, those who might most appreciate a visual expression of empathy, which is what I think that is. A side benefit of doing just an eye is that it's equally applicable to people of all races and genders. Well, first I drew it, just using pencil and paper, and I just took a minute or two. And then I made a little note, you know, on the actual piece of paper, on the colors I would use. Then, uh, and, and I deliberately chose to use muted colors except for the tear of blood. That's where I wanted the viewer's eye to focus. So I left the iris and the gray lens gray, the pupil black, the background white. Then I just took another piece of paper and I redrew it slightly better using those colors. I happened to have had a packet of, you know, 24 fine point Sharpies, and I picked those that were closest. And if no one color was quite right, I mixed in one case. I felt the light pink was too bright, so I added some black. Its purpose was not to create public art, but merely to express a feeling. So I didn't beat myself up because it was crude, nor did I redo it even once to make it look better. It conveyed what I intended, albeit primitively. I didn't have much more skill anyway. I was tempted to do it again, but with a red pupil in the eye to convey the pain's movement from inward, but decided that if I were going to spend more time doing such a drawing, I'd be wiser to try something else. Let me show it to you. Let's see if you can see it here. There we go. Crude, as I said. Pink. It wasn't quite right pink. I wanted it to be kind of conjunctivitis pink. Uh, and I wanted the middle just to be white. I didn't create a blue or a brown uh, iris. Uh, and uh, uh, the pupil I kept, of course, black. But of course, blood red, I made the tear. Okay. Um, if I were to, uh, I want to see, see, how do I explain this? Like I said, I was tempted to do it again, but with a red pupil. Right, instead of black, you see the right, the very middle there. I can't right go. Very middle being, being. I make it red, so to convey the the pain, the pain in the person's movement from inward uh, to outward to that tear of blood. But I decided that if I was going to spend more time doing such drawing, I'd be wiser to try something else. And my next idea is scales of justice, perhaps rusted or multicolored. I believe that, that my decision to do that, to not revise and do it, do it with the red pupil, but rather do something else, I think it demonstrates a key principle of accomplishment. Always weigh the benefit of additional polishing compared with the benefit of doing something new. Finally, I wrote a little description of its intended meaning. Um, whenever I've gone to a museum, I've benefited from the docent explaining what the work means, and so I did it uh, here. So this would be this is the little description of, of, of this. I think I'll hold it up as I'm reading it. Yeah, okay. So many people give their best and don't get sufficient reward. In public or even to their loved ones, they act blasé, but in the privacy of their thoughts, they tear up, perhaps shed a tear, metaphorically a tear of blood, representing all the effort they had made. Anyway, I deliberately didn't use software to enhance it. Somehow it seems purer, more human, even if it's cruder, to let it be merely what came out of my head, my heart, my fingers, without technology intervening. If I didn't have the opportunity to share it with you here, I would have maybe, I don't know, uh, put it in a frame, kept it on my desk, and maybe shown it to clients that I felt they could benefit. But now let's turn to you. 
Is there an image you want to try to draw that would be psychologically rich for you or for someone you'd show it to or give it to? I do suggest you pick something very focused, a single item with no background or as little background as needed to elucidate or otherwise enrich your core image. Um, do, you know, just quickly create a sketch using pencil and paper, perhaps marking colors you might want to use when you redraw it, and, um, and then just do one draft and then resist the temptation to use Illustrator or Photoshop or Microsoft Paint or whatever, and then either put it aside and relook at it the next day or decide that that's, that's what you've got. And maybe if you want to make a series of them, get simply a little notebook, you know, and a little sketchbook, a little notebook, and decide you're going to create one uh, on different themes as the, as the mood moves you. It's kind of like a visual um, journal. In any event, um, I hope that's of any value or interest. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.